from kissmoney.com as they're presenting Super Mario Party on the Nintendo Switch. Excellent. Right, you do not get a more perfect uh, Sunday or Saturday rainy afternoon game than this really, do you? No. Um, for someone who's never played a Mario Party game in the past, what is it? So basically, you run around as a Mario character. I am Mario, because I love Mario. Yep. And basically, what you do is you do different mini games. Okie dokie. Yeah. Um, and how many people can actually play then, Con? It's up to four people. Up to four people, excellent. So this is the, the uh, opening screen, isn't it? So if you wander around the world, show me the sort of modes we've actually got at the moment. So this is a rowing mode. Yeah. This is a, um, a board game. This is a sound stage where basically you need to hit every beat. These are all just random mini games. So as you go along and you pro progress, you get you earn more and more games, don't yeah. you? Yeah. This part is a part that you unlock. Oh, uh, this part is a part that you unlock by just lovely. walking over to here, and a uh, magic spell happens, and then you can go in here. Go on, go inside and let's have a little look in there. It's really cool. So yeah, as you're going over through the game and playing it more, you earn different things, yeah? Yeah, it's like, look at all those. There's just... So these are sort of special toad games, aren't they? Yeah. We love the tank one in here, don't yeah, we? Yeah, the tank one was so fun. Excellent. Um, and then as you wander around there, what else we got? So there are d tons and tons of different, like, characters that you can actually speak to. And uh, that that's really cool, because it's like... In the uh, Mario Party games, you, uh, it's mostly where you, where you don't have a massive world like this. Yeah. It's, you're just kind of on a loading screen. But with this one, you can walk around and talk to people. Nice. It's like an online marathon. This so, with the mini games you've actually got, what sort of mini games have you got? Uh, the sort of mini games that you've got, uh, so you can see them in, because there's literally like tons. Yeah. If you go into free play, like let's you, I'm just showing you. The, uh, this is an obvious like all we've done because uh, this is a um, new save. Okay, okay. Just so we don't, we don't want to ruin anything. it. Yeah. But when you originally go on, you get like all of these mini games. So you've got quite a few open already when you first go into yeah. it. Yeah. So let's have a little look at that. Go into one of these games. And let's so see one of these I'll games. do random. I got snack attack. Oh, nice. So catch popcorn, not boulders. Okay, let's catch some popcorn. I really, really want popcorn. Now, this is one of Beck's favourite games of all time, isn't yeah. it? She plays uh, Mario Party all the time. She's loving this new one. Um, do you find it easy to play the games? Uh, yeah, actually. It's pretty standard sort of Nintendo-style gaming, isn't it, when you actually go into the games? Yeah. Also, from a very young age. I mean, Bex has been playing the Mario Party games since she was around sort of, I don't know, four years old, I think. I think probably the same view, actually. Maybe even younger with you, actually. Do you have a favourite game that you've played so far? Uh, well, honestly, so far I'd say the beat one. The beat one? Why do you like the beat one so much? Just because it's so fun to be, uh, like, because I'm quite That's good. one of the early games, isn't it? Yeah, I'm quite good at them, and I just love the fact that I'm just watching you try and do it, just, and you're just rubbish. Do you prefer playing on your own, or do you prefer playing um, with groups of people um, against each other? I love playing with groups of people. Yeah, I think it's, it's kind of what this game is really about, isn't it? It's a great one for Christmas and over New Year when your family will come around, isn't it? Yeah. Do you have a preference? Now, obviously, you're, at the moment you're playing it with the tablet on view, you can play it with the TV. Um, what's your favourite way of playing? Honestly, I'd say my favourite way of playing is probably when you play um, on the TV. Yeah. Because then you can see more. And it's a little bit easier. Yeah. yeah. But then what I like about this is the fact that wherever you go, you can basically take this game anywhere, can't you? Literally. Yeah. And it's I mean, almost like a board game. You can, it's pretty much what it is, really, isn't it? It's a mini-game board game that you can actually play with a family. Um, do you, what sort of age do you think this game would be perfect for, Tom? All ages. Yeah? Yeah. Um, so do you think someone as young as, say, two or three could play it? Yeah. Yeah? What about uh, nannies and granddads? Do you think they'll enjoy it? Yeah. Yeah? What about mummies and daddies? Do you think they all love this game? Uh, yeah. I mean, you like I it. Love it. I've always loved this you're game. Just, you're just the worst in the world, okay? <laughs> you, you like it. I beat you at one of them, didn't I? I like the tank one. I beat you a couple of times at the tank one in the toad section. I know, but I still beat you in the mm, end. No, right, you did beat me in the end. You can't do that. Finish! Anyway. Um, so, if you were going to get it started out of five, how many would you get it, Cobb? Top end five. I had a feeling you'd say that. Any last words, or shall I leave you alone and just carry on playing more games? Okay. <laughs>